What's going on YouTube? This is Eric Kelly, AKA The Tech Gentleman. And today I'm gonna to be doing a quick walkthrough of the 3.2 update for the Nvidia Shield. So without further ado, let's talk tech. All right guys, so a major update is coming out for the Nvidia Shield. It's the update 3.2. It's got a lot of great things in it like uh, 4K HDR, uh, YouTube at 60 FPS and things like that. Also, uh, including support for Voodoo at 4K as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy downloaded and installed and I'll be right back. So guys, while that's installing, they actually give you this nice overlook of all the updates that are gonna be included in 3.2. So I just wanna go through these with you guys because I think it does a better job of explaining everything. So the first up, of course, is Netflix in HDR. So basically what that means for Anybody who happens to be lucky enough to have one of the few TVs that support HDR right now is you're supposed to be getting the most amazing color and you know rich color that you've ever seen. And Netflix is one of the first uh, the first streaming sources to support HDR. So uh, that's a kind of future forward update, not really a major one. Um, Voodoo in 4K, I believe, is a is a bigger deal because Voodoo is a great source of movies and TV shows. Um, everything that comes out on Blu-ray usually hits Voodoo, and Voodoo has a pretty good streaming quality as well. And you can also transfer your library, so if you have Voodoo on any device, on a tablet, on a phone, you can actually look at it on here. Um, and it kind of is a good replacement for Google Play Movies as far as being able to watch your stuff on multiple devices. You know, I have things in Google Play Movies, but... Google Play doesn't support 4K yet, so Voodoo on this uh, Shield TV is a great, a great option. Let's see what else we got next. So this is probably the biggest deal in this update. This is being able to use your Shield TV as a Plex media server. So before you were able to install Plex, but your Shield TV would always be a Plex client, which means you had to have another machine, another computer, or something actually running the Plex media server uh, service. Well, now what you can do is you can actually use your Shield TV as the media server. So it, it can actually stream media. So you can plug up an external hard drive, which is what I plan on doing. Have all your movies on there, or you can actually have them saved to the internal storage, and you can just serve that out all over your house, which is great for me because my main PC is all the way on the other side of my house in the back room, so I don't have a wired connection. All I have is spotty wireless back there. So now this actually gives me um, a device that's wired into my router because I have my router behind my TV and I have my shield uh, wired in. I have something that's, you know, wired gigabit uh, NIC port on it to a gigabit router, serving it out to every device in my house. So that's a, 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 great, um, a great update for the shield TV. And it just really adds to the flexibility of it. You know, I've always said that this is the best streaming box you can buy right now. And this right here is just another, not really a nail in the coffin to the other guys, but just another, you know, something else to solidify its position. I mean, it's the most flexible. It's basically like a small PC that's able to do 4K. And I mean, at this point, it's it's just future proofing itself some more. So another, um, another advantage you have is the Do uh, Dolby Atmos, which works with Voodoo, MX Player, and a couple other players. Um, I'm not really sure what the benefit of this is going to be. Most people don't have any uh, sound equipment that's going to be compatible with this. Um, if you do, you know, that's a, a plus for you. But as of right now, I don't know who uh, who will be able to take advantage of this. Like I say, really just more future-proofing. All right, so something that I'm very interested in right now is the YouTube in 4K at 60 FPS. This is, you know, something that's going to be immediately um, evident. If you have a 4K TV that supports uh, HDMI 2.0, which allows you to view 4K at 60 hertz, this is what you've been waiting for. Because this is one of the few sources that actually can show you 4K at 60 FPS. You know, we can record 4K on our phones, but it's capped at 30 FPS. So now you can go to YouTube and view some of the 4K content. Which YouTube has a lot of 4K content. Um, you know, from not really movies and shows, but just clips of different things. Um, a lot of reviewers are, f are filming in 4K now. So that's really a big plus 
to be able to view it, you know, at 60 FPS. That's pretty much the highest quality you're going to be able to view it. Now, we can talk about bit rate and all that stuff. You know, of course, YouTube um, says that they, they use the source bit rate, but, you know, that's really going to depend on your internet connection. But as of right now, just seeing 4K at 60 FPS is, is going to be great. So, kind of go over some of the advanced new features. It says, access shield folders from a network PC or Mac. Enjoy drag and drop file sharing. And they show you how to enable it. So, what that means is if you're on a PC on the same network as your shield, you can actually pull up the folders and the storage on your shield from your PC. So, if you have something saved on your computer like some pictures or some video files, you can actually just sit at your PC and drag and drop those wirelessly to your shield uh, you know, to your Shield TV. That's great. Um, the second is mount a network attack storage, also known as a NAS, to Shield to access your complete media collection. So this kind of goes into that Plex uh, media server functionality. So now you can just plug up a NAS so it doesn't even have to be physically connected to your Shield TV. Now what you can do is you can actually just have a NAS on your network, which is basically just hard drives that come in a case that you can actually just plug into your router so that you can access them anywhere on the network. As long as your shield is on the same network as that NAS, you can actually configure the Plex Media Server on here to work uh, with that NAS and pull and serve media from that, that storage. So that's pretty cool as well. So now we have uh, the next feature, which is automatically turn off your TV when shield sleeps. And they show you how to enable that as well. So if you have a TV with the HDMI port that supports uh, CEC, it allows uh, your devices to actually control your TV. So now when you put the shield to sleep, if you have that feature enabled, it'll actually turn off your TV. Sort of like the way I, you know, right now the functionality is you can turn on the shield and have the shield turn on your TV, but the shield can't turn it off. So that's a good, a good addition, kind of rounds out that feature set. Uh, so the next is enable YC, YCBCR 4x4x4 color space for improved video quality on supported TVs. So this is kind of a, um, you know, a very advanced feature. Um, the benefit of this, the 4x4x4 color space is actually talking about the, uh, the sub pixel, um, the sub, the, the pixel sub sampling. And basically that's just how many colors each of your sub pixels on your TV are made up of. So if you have a TV that supports the 4x4x4 color, which is supposed to be the best color right now, um, you can take advantage of that with the shield. Like I said, once again, you know, you're just getting the most advanced, the best features on the shield TV right now. So other enhancements, it says improves picture quality for RGB TVs, uh, delivers the latest monthly Android security update, which is pretty cool. Um, improves video playback for 23.976 hertz refresh rate so basically native 24 hertz stuff is going to improve the uh, the refresh rate I mean it's going to improve the, the playback of it uh, let's see next we have uh, optimizations for new apps and games so they kind of have a, a list of apps that they're going to be optimizing for so they have some uh, GeForce Now games some shield games as well and that's kind of the the complete little i guess highlight reel for the 3.2 update like i say the major i know for me immediately on my tv um it doesn't support the 4x4x4 four by four by four, uh sub pixel color arrangement so that won't be a big deal to me but the youtube at 4k i mean youtube 4k at 60 fps is definitely going to be something I can take advantage of immediately. I can't wait to start, you know, watching some of this content on YouTube and also the uh, Voodoo at 4K. Now, as of right now, 4K uh, video on on Voodoo is pretty pricey. I think they are running like 30 bucks a movie. Um, I know the Batman vs Superman just came out, and I actually plan on buying that. Uh, right now, it's half off. They're saying that's 20 bucks for like the this bundle edition or whatever that had like the theatrical version and all of that. Um, so if you can imagine paying 30 to 40 bucks for a you know for a digital copy or something, I mean that's pretty pricey. Hopefully that comes down uh, pretty quick. 
and like I said, Netflix and HDR. Sadly, my TV doesn't support HDR. Um, you know, like I say, to all those who have a set that does, you know, that's a that's a good look for you. The Shield TV is definitely the place to go because it's the only one that supports it right now. But um, yeah, guys, that's the uh, 3.2 update, kind of in a nutshell. If you guys have any questions, you know, you can definitely feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Um, I always reply to all my comments, try to answer as many questions as I can. And, you know, if you need any, any advice, um, you know, definitely give me a shout. Uh, definitely hit me up on Twitter, Google+, um, Instagram. I'm constantly putting new content on those sources, on those uh, social media sources. And I have a review for this TV coming out. I know it's been a long time coming. I just been trying to have kind of having trouble trying to figure out the best way to film it. Um, I, let me know how you like this arrangement I have right now, um, and any feedback or any suggestions would be appreciated as well. But um, until next time, guys. Peace.